All right, there it goes. Okay, so uh, I have this, and if I go back, it all disappears. When I hit play, it all comes in like that. All right. Now you can change this up easily, however you want to. Uh, let's say we want the X ones, these here, the ones in the corners. I can have them up here a little bit later, like this. Okay, just by moving these uh, layers here, I made the corner ones just pop up a little bit later. Uh, you can make them all, uh, and we can actually close this down like so it's not so big. We can select all these layers, hit Control Shift D as in dog, and it will split, delete, and we can um, overlap them. I'm going to extend this a little bit more, which is my work area. Right click. Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers. We can overlap it maybe by what? Let's say 15 frames. Hit OK. Let's see, they all overlap. And let's extend this a little bit more. We'll hit Play. And what we'll do is that they'll come in at different times, like that. Now it looks like kind of like a clock. All right. And the reason they're disappearing is because the layers are cut shorter. Now, I would have to make them all longer so that they can stay. But see how they come in one at a time at a very slow speed. All right. If I want them to come in faster or you know, come in but stay visible, what I need to do is just take them all. We can do this all at once like, like that. Bring your cursor over here again. Hit Control-Shift-B so that we cut it at the end. Okay, but they will now stay visible when the other one appears. Just like that. Okay, you can see the speed of this is not great. It's kind of slow, but let's fix that. So we're gonna select all your layers, press U as an umbrella, all right? And we're gonna move all of those. Okay, now to make this easier on ourselves, we can do it this way by moving every single one of these key ticks, or let's not do that. Okay, and I'm gonna press um, you again to hide all those. And what maybe first off, um, I don't like that it takes too long for the other ones to appear. So what I can do is just you know manually bring them in. Okay, or you can reset the whole thing, but I'm gonna just place it how I want it. You can eyeball it. A few frames off is not going to hurt you. Right, what I do want is to make sure that they all line up at the end. I'm going to fix that one and that one and that one. Okay. So what I do want is to make sure that they all end at the same time. So control shift D again. Delete that. This is just the fastest way to do it. And then, oops, sorry. Uh, you can grab these and then move it to, towards the end. Okay, now they're going to appear a little faster. See, they appear faster now. But it's still kind of slow. So what we can do here is time everything all at once, or what we can do is hit Control-Shift-C again. I'm going to call this like star or something. And hit OK. And this puts it all in one layer. Now what I can do is do a time um, remapping or time stretch, all right? And I showed you this before. We're going to change how it works. And I'm going to put it at 50, okay, which is going to go twice the speed of it. So it's going to go much faster. You'll see it come in now faster. All right, that's not bad. Let's do that time stretch again. Let's do 15, all right? And when I every time I do that, it shortens the uh, the layer. But this also can you know extend if we need to. But it does that okay? Much faster. Okay, see that. Now that I have this one, maybe I want more. Okay, um, and you know maybe I want it to fade out or whatever I want it to do here. Uh, if I want this to appear faster, I have to click in that comp, and we can extend these further. Just like that. Go back to your original comp here, and then this can get. Oh, let's extend it further already. Okay, there it goes. 
All right, so it's there. And I can do some things we did already with like maybe the opacity change. So here we'll turn on the opacity, come, uh, come over to the end and let it fade away and hit play. Comes in fast and fades away kind of slowly, but let's make it a little faster. Let's see how that looks. That's better. Now you can duplicate this. And just like before we did with the circles last week, you can move it over here, change the scale of this, okay? Offset the timing, do another one, offset the timing, put it over here, just like that. Maybe this one's a little bit more offset. Hit play. So you have this one, you have that one, you have that one, okay? Again, just another little graphic effect you can do for whatever it is. Uh, we can do some other stuff to it as well by changing the colors. Instead of going into uh, the original shape layer, we can go, which is, I'm going to use this one here. We can go to effects and presets. <coughs> Give it some time. Okay, there it is. And we can do uh, color correction, or you can type in, if you know what the effect is, like for example, hue and saturation, click on that, drag it onto, which one am I using? We'll do that one. Okay. And here, all you have to do is just mess with the, uh, the different effects here. There, you can change it to a different color here on this wheel so we'll do purple and you can move it around so that one has purple you can do let me see, see this one here that is the second layer grab that one put it there and we can change that one to like a green and then you have your effects there okay and that will fade away too so all that is easily done you just have to have the imagination to come up with some stuff like that, okay? Uh, let's take a break now. We'll come back at 11.30. I'm going to show you the pen tool. Um, and and then uh, just have to, um, we'll have fun with that one. You'll, you'll like it. It's really cool, okay? So let me pause this.